Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I have a very highly requested video for you guys today. Many of you guys know this, but some of you probably don't. I actually work outside of YouTube. YouTube is not yet my full-time career. So every time I film for you guys or I do anything for social media and I get full glam, I actually have to take all of this off and go to my job at night. So today is a perfect example of that because I actually filmed a tutorial on this look that I'm wearing for my Instagram. So if you guys like this look, it will be over on my Instagram. But I actually have to go to work now, so I'm going to get on ready with you guys. So today I'm going to be showing you all of the skincare products that I use to remove my makeup and also protect my face, help it heal and recover from all of the stuff that I put it through on a daily basis. And in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys a brand new cleanser that I've been trying out. So this is the Galactic Cleanse Cleanser from Glam Glow. I partnered with them today to show you this product and show you how to use it. So thank you so much Glam Glow for sponsoring this post and helping me get this video routine out for you guys finally. But if you guys want to see how I get unready after a long day of wearing makeup, then just keep on watching. So first things first, I need to remove my lipstick. So I'm wearing a matte liquid lipstick from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. So I need a liquid lipstick remover. If you go in and you try to take it off with any other kind of cleanser, it usually won't come off. So I like to use a dedicated matte lip remover. This one is from e.l.f. You squeeze it out like a lip gloss, apply it, and then you wipe away the lip color and usually it's as simple as that. And if that stains or doesn't fully remove the lipstick, I go in with another layer. Next up is the eye makeup. One of the most satisfying parts of getting unready is ripping these fake eyelashes off. So you really do want to be gentle. You don't want to pull out any of your real lashes, so go slow with this. So I am grabbing some cotton rounds. You can get these from literally anywhere. I don't like the ones that are really fluffy and come apart. I like the more sturdy ones. I get mine from Target. And then I like to take a micellar water. So this one is from Garnier, but I highly recommend using a micellar water for your eye makeup because your eyes are so sensitive. This is really, really sensitive. I've never had a problem with this around my eyes. And it also acts like a magnet. It really just pulls away all of that eye makeup. So I like to soak the pads with the micellar water. I like to press it on my eye and let it sit for a minute and then rub it really gently. And it usually removes everything with one cotton round. So really impressive. This is something that I repurchase all of the time. So I soaked the cotton round in the micellar water. I like to close my eye and just set this right over top of the makeup and let it absorb. So I'm pressing really gently because I do want this to get my mascara off. Sometimes your mascara is the hardest to remove. I'm hoping that it's not today. And then I just want to gently wipe away that eyeshadow. As you can see, a majority of the mascara came off, but we do have some coming down onto my face. So I like to flip it over and use the other side for that. So now that the eyes and lips are taken care of, it's time for the face. This is where the Galactic Cleanse from Glam Glow comes in. So this is a really cool product. You want to apply it to a dry face with dry hands, and then you add water to it. So it starts off as a jelly, and then when you add the water, it turns into a more milky consistency, and it removes your makeup. So if you guys have dry skin like me, you're really going to like this cleanser. It's very hydrating and it leaves your skin feeling smooth instead of stripped and dry. It feels nice and hydrated. It does look like a galaxy. Now I have a bowl of warm water in front of me because once I put this on my face, I need to add water and I couldn't film this in my bathroom. So I'm gonna go ahead and rub this between my fingers and then apply it to my face in circular motions. And by the way, you guys, this stuff smells amazing. So I'm going to rub this on. Gotta make sure I get that nose highlight off. And then I add the warm water, which is going to turn it milky. So as you guys can see, it's no longer a jelly. It turned to a milky consistency. And then you rinse and pat dry. 
So this cleanser did its job, you guys. It takes every inch of my face makeup off. It cleanses my skin, but it doesn't leave me dry. So my skin feels really hydrated and really soft. So after I remove my face makeup, I like to tone my face. As you can see, I have a little bit of redness naturally, so I am working on that. So I like to go in with a toner. So lately I've been using a different kind of toner. I've been using a solid toner. This is from Milk Makeup. It's called their Matcha Toner. So I love the simplicity of this because you don't need a cotton pad, you don't need anything else, you just apply it directly to your face. So I like to run over the areas where I know I have uneven skin tone. So my chin has been really bad. Around my nose is not the best. So this right here also doesn't make my skin dry out, which is rare when it comes to a toner. So I've been loving this Milk Makeup Stick. So if you guys have any other recommendations for toners, then let me know. But I've really been liking this one. It evens out my skin tone and it also keeps my skin from breaking out. I find when I use this on a regular basis, I have less breakouts. So you guys, I have very, very dry skin. It's not a mild dry skin, especially with winter approaching. It's pretty severe. So I like to do whatever I can to make sure that my skin stays hydrated. You guys do not have to go out and purchase this expensive product. I'm sure there are other oils that you guys can purchase. I know there are, but I do want to share with you guys what I am genuinely using lately. So lately I am using a Virgin Marula Luxury Facial Oil from Drunk Elephant. So this oil actually has antioxidants in it it protects your skin but for me my main goal is to hydrate so it really hydrates but it doesn't leave my skin feeling greasy so that's why I've been liking this one so I just apply a few drops like a lotion to my face before I put anything else on I put two drops onto my fingers and I'm just gonna pat this in my problem areas again and when I go to sleep lately I drench myself in this now, like I said, this is a very expensive marula oil. There are a ton on the market, so I'm sure there are other options if you guys want a more affordable option, but this is what I've been using lately, so I did wanna share it. So along with the whole dry skin winter thing, I also have been suffering with my lips, especially when I wear a liquid matte lipstick. There's no avoiding it. You're going to have chapped lips, especially if you are prone to it like I am. So I like to go in with a lip scrub. The scrub I've been using lately is the Jeffree Star Lip Scrub. This is from the Summer Collection. It's in the flavor Orange Soda. So here's what it looks like. They smell so good and they taste good and they're edible, they're safe to get in your mouth and all of that. So I like to dig in with the back of my fingernail because my nails are so long. And then I just apply it to my lips and rub it in. Especially the middle of my bottom lip is the worst. And you literally just lick it off and you can eat it. Or if you don't wanna do that, you can wipe it away. Now this next step is very important for my lips. Now I know I'm going to sound crazy, but I kind of believe it when some people say that certain brands of chapstick or lip balm actually make you addicted to the product and they dry your lips out and you have to keep on using it and I cannot stand that. So the products that I like to use are a little bit more high end. They work amazingly. And if you guys have been watching me for a long time, over a year ago, I think I talked about this. This is by far my favorite lip treatment. I wear this to bed every single night and this is from Glam Glow. This is their Pout Mud Wet Lip Balm Treatment. This is my second one. I've taken a massive chunk out of this because I use it every single night. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing. I go in with the back of my fingernail and I apply it. And with the holiday season coming around, this is actually a good time to try this lip balm if you haven't already because it smells like peppermint. Of course you can use peppermint all year long and I do, but when I put it on, I feel really festive and peppermint is one of my boyfriend's favorite scents. So I really love this lip balm and I use it every single night as a treatment and I use it throughout the day. So it is one of my favorite skincare products. So that is it you guys for this get unready with me. That is what I do to take all of my makeup off after I film. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's been highly requested. So if you guys did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up for me. 
Also, let me know down in the comments what your favorite products to get on Ready are. All of the products that I use will be listed in the description box down below. Don't forget to check out that Glam Glow Cleanser. I'm telling you, if you guys have dry skin like me, you're really going to like it. If you guys have tried anything from Glam Glow and you would recommend it to me, then go ahead and leave that in the comments as well. I would really love to know what your favorite products are. So thank you all so much for supporting me. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you have not already. I put out new videos every single week. I also am doing the Instagram thing now with tutorials and of course product shots and updates over there. And I have all of my social media listed in the description box as always. But thank you guys so much for watching and hopefully I will see you all in my next video. Bye.